Good morning guys. Welcome to another video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter O'Neill and as you can imagine it's very early looking around me. It's actually uh, half past four in the morning and I am off to Splot Market on the lovely bank holiday weekend. It is so nice to actually have a dry bank holiday weekend in Wales, UK. Um, I'm off down to Splot Market today, so you're going to get to see whatever I buy and a bit of research as usual now. Half past four in the morning and there's plenty of traffic on the road. Shocking or what? Well, it's been um, an interesting um, couple of weeks. Juggling eBay, juggling the shop, juggling everything. I didn't uh, raise enough money to buy that uh, building in the auction in the time period I give myself. It was probably a bit unrealistic. Um, but I am still going to keep saving because there's another three buildings in the mount that will be going up for sale soon. So I'm, gonna, I'm still determined I'm going to have one by the end of 2019. Um, where are we at? eBay's been pretty good, to be honest with you. I've done really well on eBay. Um, um hang on. <coughs> Um, my plans this weekend, guys, are I'm obviously I'm buying in Splot this morning, then back to the shop. I'm uh, meeting Jeremy down in um, Splot. He's got a few pieces for me. Um, tomorrow then, oh, this afternoon then I have Connor come into the shop. He wants one or two pieces from the shop and he's bringing some bits up for me. Um, I'm having lots of visits and visitors at the shop at the moment. Uh, lots of followers coming to the shop, which is really nice. Um, it's always nice to see people pop in. Um, let me see. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be selling a Gatling Gear car boot sale. And I'm quite looking forward to it. I've got uh, quite a little bit of uh, assortment to take. guys um, yeah sorry about that I've got quite a selection of car boot sale items now to take that I do want to clear so with a bit of luck I'll make a nice uh, chunk of change tomorrow um, clear out a bit of space and hopefully as usual with get the gears go and buy a bit of jewelry now, as you saw this week, I did have a very large selection of quantity jewellery from some dealers. I've paid a bit of money for it, more than I would normally pay, but at the same time, it was clean, boxed, ready to go, and all gold and silver. So it was really a no-brainer when you can make a tenner on a piece, 20 quid on a piece, you know, it's not a problem. Um, you see, Monday, I haven't decided yet. I know Booth Wells is on today. I haven't been to Booth Wells for a long time. Do you think charge, apparently a charge at 10 and to get in? I don't know if that's right or not. Uh, but one of the boys was saying that they, uh, yesterday when I was talking to him and asking him, is he going to Booth? He said, no, they charge a 10 and to win. A 10 Wow, unless he's on about the early entry. It could be 10 pound early entry for dealers. So I know some places charge early entry. Even get the gear charge early entry, we pay a pound for a boot sale. So I don't know, but uh, I'm not going up to uh, Booth Wells as much as I'd love to uh, go up and buy nice antiques at the antique fair. I can't turn down the jewellery. Jewellery, I'm selling a lot of jewellery, and I need to get a new haul in ready for Christmas. So as the stuff sells on the shelf, I can put more out. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry by Christmas, guys. That's what I want to be selling. So there's uh, three or four days a year that 
I want to be ready for and that is Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas Day all jewellery mad guys so as much as I can get through the summer now um, box it up, get it ready if I can't fit on the shelves now I don't care I'm going to fill boxes and boxes of it and uh, come October, November I'm not going to be able to keep up I ran out this year of really nice pieces that they were asking for so it's going to be a good uh, Christmas in the shop again. That's the plan anyway. Um, so Monday, um, the likelihood is, I don't know if Sully's on on Monday. Uh, so possibly Sully if he's on, then Bessemer. Um, Maya Sakuma is normally on on a Monday. I know Mirtha's on on the bank holiday Monday. There's a few local ones on that I can go to. So with a bit of luck, I'll pick some nice pieces up there. Um, I don't know what your plans are this holiday weekend. Hopefully you have a good one. Uh, find lots of real nice bargains, guys. Other than that, I think I'm going to um, leave it there for a minute. And we'll see you soon with whatever I buy. What I'll do, I'll film it down in Splot again at the car. If it's anything really tasty, I'll take some really nice photos. I'll in at the end, as usual. And then when we get home, you'll see the research on the pieces. So, bye for now, guys. Put it only here a minute. That's Julian. Hardly anyone in here. You wait till later, it'll be full. Okay, guys, so. A couple of buys I've just had already. Um, we come to here. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to look later if this is some sort of oil screen printing. Or painting. There's a signed one. But I'm pretty confident I know the image. I think that's a Grand Tour image. You know, you can buy Grand Tour models. I'm pretty confident that's what that is. Then we got an Art Deco mirror. Beautiful image. And then this sort of Italian painting. It's quite nicely painted large as you can see and it is signed again so three nice pieces of art um, I'm almost certain the Grand Tour image that's a Grand Tour image in which case it's going to be really sought after um, that's well painted and the Art Deco mirror the three of them stand me in at £11 for the three Okay, some of the other pieces I've just had now. The little bottle coaster here with a porcelain base. It's very worn. Nice character to it. When I clean that, it's going to be quite nice. Porcelain base. Probably continental. So I say 12S11. So probably 1911. But a nice little image for a bottle coaster. That was two pounds. Plus this little bridge, what's it say there? Conway Castle near Llandano. Conway Castle, there we go. Nice little uh, bit of souvenir way, a bit of pewter or base metal. Looks pewter. Just a nice little collectible pin dish. And then we have this. Doesn't look much, I know. It's a little soap dish. Needs a clean. Hand painted. That's why I bought it, guys. Harrods of Italy. Didn't even know we had Harrods in Italy, but hey ho. And that was a pound. These here are brass. African brass. Um, table um, cloth, uh, tablecloth uh, holders. So you clip down to your tablecloth, and these beautiful birds would hang down. They're in brass, and there's four of them, one for each side, and they were two quid. And that's what they down those tablecloth weights.
Okay guys, so um, I'm back from Splot and I have spent an arm and a leg again and I'm going to make a few videos out of it but I'm going to add one or two more pieces into this film just to show you. Um, now I did pick this up, stinking dirty I know, um, but if you look right by there, it's a full set of Birmingham Hallmarks for solid silver. That cost me two pounds as dirty and stinking as it is it's in beautiful condition and it was two pound guys we'll have a look how much toast racks are selling for in a minute um two seconds let me see if i can clean up a fraction just with my finger without using any polishing or anything let's see if we can get the details to show there we go look at that as easy as that So we'll date that in a minute and we'll um, we'll have a look what that's worth. Um, last piece I'm going to put in the video for stock wise is this little brass miner, the coal truck full of coal and the winding wheel. Um, I paid a fiver for it this morning in Splot. I know what I normally sell them for, but uh, we're gonna have a look online as part of the new film, uh, the new film in style, and we'll see what they spec online. I'm no longer gonna be complacent, guys. I'm gonna check values of everything from now on. Um, I've made a couple of mistakes of late. Before we go on to check in the uh, the pictures and the few other pieces now, I did buy myself some nice ties. I don't know if they're silk or what, but some really nice ties. So we got the Tasmanian Devil, which will look really nice. Let me see if I can, after that, just a fraction. Bear with me. Right. So we got the Tasmanian Devil. We got Daffy Duck. All these cartoons I grew up with, guys, so I absolutely loved them when I saw them. Pink Panther, my favourite. Look at that one. I paid a fiver for six ties. These are all vintage ties. Uh, they're not to sell on there for myself. Uh, this one is a dancing sheep. Shawnee the sheep, probably. Not sure. Uh, I'm not as uh, thrilled on this one. However, this one is Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. Love it. Did he ever catch that uh, bird? Probably not. And then we have uh, finally another Tasmanian Devil. Now I don't know what these sell for online, um, but I bought six ties this morning for a fiver. And they're all the cartoon ones, and I absolutely love them. They're not for sale, they're for me. Uh, so if I get, go out there anyway nice, I can uh, wear a tie. Well, they are. Official branding, Looney Tunes, 1998. So we're talking um, these ties, 20 year old. Yeah, 20 year old. And in lovely mint condition. So some nice vintage ties, guys, of the period, of the special branding, you know, they're not copies, um, over the moon. So I'm going to do the research now, and then I'm going to move on to another six or seven or eight items. Um, what can I say? Been a crazy, crazy morning, spent the fortune, but I got some beautiful pieces. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with my um, silver toast rack here. I don't know if you can see the hallmarks there clearly. Uh, we have the weighing scales here. Hang on. And zero. Zero. Right, so. It's hard to uh, see through the... Uh, camera there we go we have 101.6 grams of silver for two pounds that was a really nice little buy now i come up to you and start looking at toast racks and i've already skipped through the dearest ones 
that they have they go up into the high hundreds um, as you can see here now we're coming down along the same sort of weight 118 grams and so forth some of them are de uh, heavy 139 grams 114 grams per day for 109 pounds Sixty-three. So some of these are still heavier. That one's small. They haven't even put a weight on that one. That's literally just the three little bars. That's that small, and they still had a hundred pound for that. Four division tour strap there, which is what I've got. Four division, and they had ninety-nine pounds. And I've had them club shape before. They're not always silver, so you gotta be careful. 95 pound for 1920s four division 125 grams 95 pounds 1937 yeah keep going ahead right we have a baby by yeah 1914 only 82 grams and they still had 90 pound for that all right now if i come up here uh that's the maker of my um candlestick is the baker brothers silver limited and to get that i use this website there we go silvermarks.co.uk and they specialize from 1927 to 1960 in uh, all that stuff i'm not going to read it all out and the date, again, I use the date, silvermarks.co.uk forward slash dates. And we went to uh, Birmingham and I clicked on G. And the date letter G takes me to 1931, which ties in with the maker's mark here, 1927 to 1960. So happy days. Oh, it could have been the 1931 one here because they're very close and mine's a little rubbed so it could have been either of those and mine's a 1931 so either way they're still the same people um but there we have it that's the toast rack so that two pound realistically i'm going to put that up for 95 pound or 100 pound on ebay and wait for an offer if somebody offers me 70 80 quid they're going to take it but that will clean up beautiful guys and it's in lovely clean mint condition with regards to um these little pieces i've had a little look it's not worth wasting your time they're between five and ten pound this one is um little antique electric plated on copper but they're all the silver's worn and it's got a little pottery plaque with a dutch scene with the clogs on the feet and the scene is hand painted but it's gonna go for like 12 quid it's not worth researching that for you these little comry dishes are cheaper than i expected um value will has about a fiver but it's still a little once i clean it up a little bit there's a little trinket to go in the cabinet and these harrods soap pots again they're about five to eight pounds somewhere on by there so that's going to be cleaned up and that's going to go in the cabinet for a ten and the name harrods will sell that so then we uh we move on um and i done some looking for winding wheels now that's a particularly nice one, looks heavy and old. Now I'm 65. Then I come to the type I got, which is there. And they're currently asking 45. Go to sold, and all I could find on sold was this. Which isn't the same as what I got, but similar-ish vein. And that was £26. So I'm going to be putting £30-ish £30 on the, uh, the miner, the cart and the winding wheel. Then we move on to that painting there that I said is a Grand Tour model. And if you come across here, there we have them. Grand Tour models. That's what we got. One of these. However, we've got it in painting form or print form. I personally think this is a print, silk, like a silk screen or an oil print. Uh, I'm going to have to double check. I can't find anything on the, uh, the name yet. Um, it's D E V E L I S or D E V E L S S. 
and I can't find nothing on it but subject matter alone makes that one really desirable but that's going to um, be sold on its merits of it's a grand tour model uh, and it just looks the part and to be honest I'm going to be asking about 95 for that on eBay without even knowing the artist purely on decorative value then we come across to that that's a really nice oil painting on canvas as you can see it is nicely done I'm not going to sell this one until I got the artist and I haven't well I have got the artist but I can't find any uh, research on it that's what we got the painting is of Rhodes near Camiros and the artist is by Romanos now I found that information on the back of the picture um, when I typed it in then trying to find it obviously I'm finding all the scenery and everything which ties in perfectly this is a large piece it's probably three four foot long and two foot high it's a really interesting uh, painting and as you can see it is very well painted but sadly I haven't been able to get the artist yet so these two are going to require more work than just doing quick simple research for the video but I will give you an update but that one I'm not even going to mess about with now because I think it's um, a print rather than a painting I think it's a print on canvas I could be wrong it could be a painting uh, but I'm just going to chuck that on for £100 and see where I end up but I do like that a lot I could have that in my own house to be honest so I could live with that so that's where we're at guys for now